Mike is the most wonderful director I love so much. I love working with him so much. Um, he's just, everything is filled with so much energy and like love and humor. I mean, he's just always bringing light and joy and stuff, which makes everything so alive because even when you're doing really treacherous scenes, it's not like inappropriate humor, you know, if you're having a really, you know, if you're crying or something, he's not gonna like tell a joke in the middle of it, but, um, you know, to imbue every moment with with that laughter is so important because that's life, I mean, and you need those sort of extremes to experience, you know, you need one extreme to experience the other. All of the actors have been amazing to work with. <clears throat> I mean, Julia is just so natural and kind and really just cool to be with on the set. And Jude is like, the sweetest, nicest guy and such an amazing actor. I mean, you just, you really like, when you do scenes together, it's you, just the two of you, no one else is there. It's really, it's easy to get into that mode because um, he's just really like very present with you. Alice comes to London alone with no place to stay and no bags, which is <laughs> sort of sums up her character. She sort of lives on a whim but is, a tough girl, I mean, she's clearly been through a lot, protects herself against a lot, and makes up her entire world, but in a strange way is the most honest one in the film. I mean, she completely creates herself. I think it's sort of all the complicated ways people have relationships with each other, and in so many ways, you can become sort of automatons in relationships and, um, go along with patterns and do nasty things and not think and not realize that the other person is a person and all of these things. And it's sort of, even though it shows all this nastiness in a way, it's a very moral play <laughs> because it, it asks you to pass judgment on everything, I think. No one really is doing things sort of in a mean, conniving way, except maybe Clive's character, Larry. Um, everyone else is sort of doing it under this you know, through this prism of, I'm in love, I'm in love, you know, I have to be irrational now, I'm in love, it doesn't matter who I hurt, you know. And so love does become sort of like this weird tool, this weird excuse um, for doing a lot of bad things to people.